Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Lisa. Previously on Lisa, we cleared out the first crossroads. We killed some pretty boys, and we got a truck. Now we're on to the next area. So I take it you're not going to be friendly and let me pass by. Yeah, it's about the norm. STTS and WDD. Still, that's like one of the strongest attacks for him. Slap. I haven't tried Rooster Cockburn yet. Cock Blast 2. Nice. I just remember my command. Dog does a lot of single hit damage. <laughs> Cockburn's on fire. Pretty hard. I don't want to waste any healing on him if I have to, though. Goodbye, man. It's all so bald. We shared each other's pain. Massive head rush. Not many good drops. WWA. Too bad it's not WWF. Uh, World Wrestling Association. It still works. Hopefully nothing bad happens. <laughs> nothing bad happened to us anyway, that's all that matters. <laughs> Hello? Anyone here? No. Hey, aren't you my friend? No, you're someone else. Mm. 
You're the type of person who gets into a bathroom stall in public and can't do anything because there's people in there. All those awkward noises. Every single one delaying what you need to do. Occasionally you might hear two guys talking between stalls and you wonder to yourself, why are they talking in the middle of a bathroom? This is so annoying. That's a spider. You're dying. Hi. Oh, uh, okay. Percy Monsoon, the poop guy. He's a pushover class. Fireball, which is like mine, body splash. He's got some support skills. This is a boomerang. Oh, he's got some sunscreen. There's so much blood around here. Hey! Rick! Why are you running, Rick? Huh? That's that's not buddy, that's that's ghost. Sell us out, Rick. It's just such a different tone than the demo. The demo had your friends as party members. And even the, the Kickstarter and all the early stuff implied that your friends were going to be party members and join you on this journey. But when you get to the full game, they're all pricks, and just very flawed people. This is kind of like the Last of Us Earthbound version at this rate. Kind of a spoiler for Last of Us, but... clean.
God. Can I just walk away? Is this an option? No. It has to be done. Sorry, Rick. I have to go Batman on you. Where is she? Where is she? Answer me! for the best. She's gone. Huh. <sighs> I don't feel good about myself anymore, but I think the next town I'm hit, I'm gonna sell all my joy, just so I don't accidentally use it and rebound. You're gonna attack me, aren't you? I'm withdrawing right now, apparently. You're a little bit late. Ah, screw it. Brad can't do any damage when he's taking joy. You have to use fireballs. Uh, they're the only thing that um, he can really use in the state. I don't think you saw many things coming, my friend. Thanks for the perfume. This is uncomfortably dark. Hi. Joy Cult. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing each other quite a bit. Rage, no! Don't do it. Rage is my bro. I have a feeling this is gonna be a failed option. If they just gotta, like, you know, mop the floor of me. <sighs> Shit. I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of skills if I cut my arm off. I don't think killing him's really an option. I think they're gonna, like, overpower me. Like, they're programmed to, like, almost one-shot you if you go for it. I'll come back on another save just out of curiosity and try that out. For now. I've already armed myself for this. I suppose if you want to kind of cheat out, you could slap a party member you don't care about in there and do that instead.
There's definitely people in this party who don't really have a niche to fill. What skills did I lose? I just have the pea gun fist now. Still have the fireballs. I'm gonna have to rely on the fireballs from now on, pretty much. Which makes the actual combo attacks kinda useless. Still have head slide. Yeah, do I get it? Cool. <laughs> okay, next me. Yeah. Be dumb like you said. The music is kind of interesting. Holy crap. So now we know what happens if you don't choose. Dang it! This feels like really neo 80s kind of style stuff here. <laughs> guys aren't things I can run over. They look pretty pissed. Oh, how polite. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. You're a very nice guy, Rando. Be seeing you later. Maybe Rando's gang is misunderstood. Maybe I've been the villain the entire time. He also has a killer car. Oh. You're ruining his act of kindness. By doing this, you're indirectly going against his wishes. Don't you guys realize that? I guess not. Oh, let's do this the hard way. Nice. 
Nice. I got the headbutt skill. And 25 mags. You guys should totally attack me all the time. It's nice rations. 25 mags. Can I leap off that? Probably. Uh, I was going for withdrawal now. Are you the are you the mystical pointer guy? Go for the other side. Moving, you die. What's going on? I kind of hate you, so I'm hoping you make it actually. Nice. You can do it, bro. One more try. Oh, shit! Oh, God! Damn, that was close. That was some... That was some deer hunter stuff. God rest her soul. Oh, that last one was nerve-wracking. I really want to find a save point after that run. You looking at me? You want a piece of this? Down or up? Sure. What's funny? Ah, uh, that's good, actually. I get that. Oh god. Why are you by the water? I don't think it's a pun, is it? Yeah, no. No, no, no. Nice, free hat. I think it's about time I end your punness.
Ah. Yeah, that's the last pun. Jerky. It's the Sunset Rangers. No, I have to go over a different name in this world. And their arch enemy, Shit Snake. Salvation Blue! Keep your chin down and your eyes up around bullies! Salvation Yellow! Always listen to Dad, even if he's been drinking! Salvation Green! Don't pay for drugs! Let your friends do that! Salvation Black! No race jokes, please! Salvation Pink is not really into it. It's probably the kid, you know, who used to play Power Ranger, and so I was like, I don't want to be that color. You took Green Ranger. I'm not playing anymore. I told you everyone in this world is a prick. You want me to take his place? Hey guys, um... Do you, do you want me to take his place? Is this a thing you want me to do? Oh, I'm just gonna come back. Praise the sun. While well, we're making these other references. Uh, we'll finish you off with my, um, fireball style. I guess. Damn you, Rangers! See, now it actually fits. Ooh, Rooster Storm. No problem. Call me... Bike Rider. So we're at the new crossroads. This is a real tall hill. Something's very important up here. The meaning to life, maybe. Other unanswered questions. Like, why does this world want me to suffer so much? Why is there a phallic-shaped mountain up here with a rope leading to the top? 
How did someone get on top of this phallic shaped mountain and even put a rope down? Like what's so important up there? Perhaps I'll never find out. Perhaps I'll be climbing this rope forever. This music is really chill though. If I go down, will like I instantly reach back down to the beginning or something? One of those things where it's testing to see how long you can climb it and eventually you just go down and it just takes it back instantly. Let's try it. No. No, my only, only choice is to keep going. I, I've committed to this. I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. I made it, and it's... It's a fuck you! I have to climb back down the entire way. I can't believe I did that. Of this just is this a, a joy mutant that's just grown too huge and taken over the entire cavern I can see why that Chivo for the second crossroads is called all falling down it's a clutching a record God. What the fuck? out. We got this. Don't worry, Rooster. We got this. Oh, man. 
do that. I don't want to experience this again. Getting out of here. This is kind of like the effects of joy. I think it's like all the big symbolism for dependency issues and drug habits. And it's also really freaky. What the fuck? What did you do? What did you do? So that's it for Lisa, part 5. We're at the second crossroads, I know there are three of them in this game. Just going by the Chivos. Uh, I think a good portion of the game occurs here, actually, so... Uh, the pacing is picking up quite a bit, and we're seeing the kind of more hard decisions come up, and some of the kind of chaos of this world, and the dramatics. And things are just kind of overall depressing and miserable, and occasionally we go and see the Power Rangers finding bad guys, and things are kind of upbeat again. You know, for a few moments. Anyway, so thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for Lisa, part six.